Okay, you guys, this is Cole at Bad Guys again. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, chamber softening and deshrouding your valves. So, the head we have here is a, a P72 GSR we worked over a couple of years ago. And so, I'm going to get right into it here. So, the most obvious thing you're going to see is all of the high spots from the factory that are kind of put in there as they cut the valve job and machine it gets knocked down smoothed out and blended in so when you do this you're actually going to reduce the risk of your pre-detonation or pinging because each of these high spots can become a hot spot if you're running a lot of boost you have a lot of nitrous uh, these are going to be things that are going to have to have you put more of a conservative timing tune-up on it and the next thing is if you look here, you know, this is where your valves go, obviously. It's not a big open hole. Okay, you have a valve that goes through it, and then the air has to come in between the chamber and the valve head in order to get into the motor. So, on the inside here, it's obviously not that big of a deal. This whole area is open, air can move freely. But on the other side, the air gets trapped up against the chamber wall. So, when we're deshrouding the valves, for this application, we actually matched it to uh, a 84 millimeter gasket, and then moved this combustion chamber wall over. So now, we have all this open area for air to get around the valves and get into the combustion chamber and the cylinder as well as help get it out. So the other thing we're going to talk about is you know this is not all just free horsepower. Okay obviously by removing some material from the chamber here you are going to be losing cc's so your compression ratio is going to come down. So, how to kind of counteract this, we did do a little bit of a compression mill on the head. We removed 10 thousandths to kind of shrink it back down. And then we also fitted the Supertech flat face valves. And that helped, uh, you know, bring the compres compression back to uh, where we wanted it to. And so, the final thing is now that you have this nice smooth chamber, the valves are deshrouded, there's no high spots is that when you're tuning this, if you're running a lot of nitrous or uh, a lot of boost, you're going to have a wider resolution within your tune to add and play with timing. Because it's going to be uh, a lot more resistant to knock, to pinging, and the GSR head being a pent roof chamber has uh, a lot of issues at the higher horsepower levels because of the quench pads. And this kind of helps combat that and gives it the the best fighting chance. So this was our finished product. This is what the uh, chamber looked like after we surfaced it back down and cut the valve job on it. So you can see we have the Supertech valves fitted here, the flat face ones. Try again, try and bring that compression back up. And so this is the key here. We move this wall over to a larger bore size to open up this curtain area. So now the air doesn't have the wall when it comes in and hits it, now it's just kind of open, smooth, radius. Gives us a lot more room within the chamber to help fill it. And again, all this has been smoothed out. All the casting imperfections, all of the rough edges that are there from the factory are gone. So it's going to give us a wider tuning window. It's going to be more 
knock and detonation resistant especially if you're running a lot of boost the timing is you know every degree you add is going to give you a tremendous uh, amount of horsepower gains so the more timing you can put to it the better and same with the nitrous stuff and the nitrous is you know definitely going to be the most timing critical of all the stuff and this is you know the finished product here so this here was the total finished project before we assembled this head for the customer so this was our last hand ported GSR head that we did before we switched to our CNC program you can see our combustion chamber softening and deshrouding there we ended up going with a set of rocket M25 cams, the spring kit, the flat face valves literally did the whole works on this head and we ended up flow testing this one and uh, I'll go ahead and put uh, a link to the original post we did on this head on our Facebook page that has the flow testing and a lot more detailed information and photos on it in the description and if you have any questions feel free to uh, send us a message on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash badguysworldwide uh, if you're interested in buying these parts or having this service done you can check out our online store at badguysonline.com or you can follow us on Instagram at badguys underscore worldwide.